Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I had an interesting thought, and I wanted to share it with you all. I talk a lot about, uh, you know, not only viewing my content, but other people's content and following up on that. But I wanted to kind of highlight another way you guys can continue to educate yourself as well as I try to do. Um, and I and I listen to Audible a lot. I love Audible. I'm I'm in, and I'm in no way endorsed by it. I'm not trying to like sell you guys a product or whatever. But um, like when I drive uh, to work every day, sometimes like I'll listen to Audible or the radio. Or if I go out for like a jog or a run, I'll listen to Audible or music or. You know, like I'm, I, I like listening to books. I don't like reading books. I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest reader in the world, but I love listening to books. I, I still love to learn, and Audible is just very convenient for me. And I like it because I could be doing two things at once. Like I said, I could be driving to work and learning from a book, or I could be out jogging or walking and learning from a book. You know, and there are some books that I read that you know, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to highlight these books specifically saying you should buy these books or you should listen to them on Audible or whatever. But what I am saying is you guys should definitely look into expanding your horizons as far as as far as continuing education when it comes to investing. And you can see on here, I've read uh, Money Master. Best Game. utilize them. Okay, I don't actually want to hear it. Um, and I reread it a little bit. I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read Jim Cramer's Get Rich. I read Wealth of Nations, which I think is a good book. But Chapter um, ten. It's very off wage. It's very uh, cause I bought the original, so like you have to <laughs> kind of get like that old English kind of speak. You know, you have to understand the words. I think they have newer versions where it's more modern, but I, I like the original. You know, cause the original still holds true today. Um. Let's see what's another one. The Intelligent Investor. That's another really good one, I think. <coughs> um, again, and it's a copy of a book that's been redone over and over and over again. And I got the really long one, which... Fucking A, like, let me see. How many... Let's see if I can... Oh, I haven't downloaded it yet on this one. I forgot it's on my old phone. I changed phones recently. But, um... Like, this is all on my cloud. But then I got The Richest Man in Babylon, which is another one, which is also very, like, old English. But it, it, I think it has a really good, like, philosophy on, like, investing. And not even investing so much in the stock market, but more of just investing in yourself. Like, a big thing it highlights in that book is, uh, like, the rule, of, uh, the rule of 10%, where you always pay yourself 10% first before you pay anyone else. Before you pay rent, before you buy groceries, before you go out and party, whatever. You always pay yourself 10% every paycheck and you save that. So you live off 90%. Now, obviously, 10% is a uh, is just a number that they use in the book. You could start at 1%, work up 2%, 3%, 4%, whatever. Or you could do like 50% if you're able to live very frugally, you know. But, I mean, it's it's a good book to teach you about that. Um, Think and Grow Rich is a pretty good book. Dark Money just talks about a lot of... Like billionaires and all the awful shit they do with money. Um, the crash of 2016, Tom Hartman. He, Tom Hartman's a, a very liberal, um, act, not I'll say activist, but like a news person. Like he's, and he's, in, he's very into economics. He's a good dude. Um, he has very good insight, but um, I, like, I kind of like the other two things. The Intelligent Investor and Richest Man. Those are, I think those are great books. Um, Basic Economics is one I read. Uh, Big Short, uh, One Up on Wall Street is like one of those books where people often um, refer to it. Uh, Peter Lynch was a great investor. Um, I personally, I, like I liked the book, but I didn't think it was that great. But I mean, like it has such a, a strong following, you know, a lot of people listen to it. So that's why, you know, I, I uh, got that book. Um and then some of these other ones are just uh, other books I've read. But a lot of these are like on like economics and learning and stuff like that to expand my or your um, your overall understanding of investing. And with this Audible app, you know, like it's like 15 bucks a, bu a month for me and you get one free book every month. So I pretty much I don't think I've ever paid for a book. 
maybe I paid for like one of these books, but pretty much like when I get that credit, you know, I, I buy a book, you know, and so I always get a free book basically. But, um, you know, that's, that's one way to learn. Uh, you know, you could go on YouTube, um, you could look up, uh, different channels, um, probably some of the more, uh, popular ones you guys have heard, uh, let's see, there's, uh, what's his name, uh, Timothy Sykes, there you go, blanking on his last name for some reason, uh, Timothy Sykes is, a is a popular one, um, uh, this guy's like a millionaire trader, and he's got like, uh, a bunch of students, and he go on his website, I think it's like Profitly. I think it's his website, where he tries to teach people to learn. Um, you got, uh, let's see, or not, oh yeah, Ross Cameron, but he goes under Warrior Trading. Uh, that's another uh, YouTube channel. And I'm not, I'm not endorsing these guys specifically. I'm just showing you guys there's a lot of information out there that you could be utilizing, you know, and uh, put in your strategy. You know, you could... You could take ideas from these guys, and and you could learn from them, and you could you could you could better yourself. Um, there's this one guy. I think it's Ricky. I want to say Ricky. I could be wrong. Goo, is it Ricky? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, Ricky Gutierrez. That's another one. He does like penny stock trading. Um, there you go. His first video: buying a GTR and two houses by age 21. So he's done very good for himself. Like to show it off, which is fine, you know, if you work hard for it, I mean, why not, right? Um, and then there's other ones, you know, those are just some examples. Um, and all of these, you know, is just um, building into your strategy. I bought uh, Ross Cameron's uh, a Warrior Trading book on uh, day trade, or not Warrior Trading book, uh, how to do day trade. And, uh, you know, I'm going through it, I'm just like trying to add on to what I already know and like how to how to expand it. And like I said, like I'm not specifically saying go buy his book. I'm not specifically saying watch these channels. I'm not specifically saying download Audible and get these books. I'm just saying look outside of your normal realm of thinking and just watching maybe just YouTube or news, you know, also read books, also read articles. Um, you got um, like Google Investopedia or something. That's a uh, that's a common one where you, when you Google something, a lot of Investopedia articles will come up. Or you got a Forbes list. That's uh, another one where a lot of information comes up. Or you got uh, was it Motley Fool? I think Motley Fool is another one where you get a lot of information. Um, and many others. You know, there's. There and 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 I know everyone's gonna have opinions like, oh, this one's bad, that one's good, you know, back and forth, blah blah blah. And like I said, none of that matters. I don't really care about everyone's opinion on it, cause cause I'm not trying to sell that. I'm just trying to sell, you know, that continuing education aspect of like continuing to learn, continuing to look things up, continuing to um, to grow yourself in a sense to. To bet to better yourself and be more profitable ultimately, because that's the whole goal of you know trading is being more profitable. And I'm and I'm trying to do the best I can, and I want I want you all to also think about that as well, and maybe look at some of these other avenues that you haven't thought of yet or that you're looking into but you're not sure about. You know, it's it's good, it's a good opportunity, and it's all free. You know what I'm saying? Like all it costs is your time. You know that's why like on, like on like in some of my videos I'll say like on the weekend I'll do research or whatever because I'm busy during the week. You know. And on Sundays like today, you know, like I like to chill and relax and, you know, I'll just go through stuff for like an hour or two. I'll go through articles and videos and I'll look through stuff, you know, I'll catch up on everything. And then on Monday morning, you know, I'm kind of ready to go with my trades and what I want to do. So I kind of wanted to just highlight some of that stuff. Um, and I and I hope, you know, if, and if you guys have other uh, information or things you look at to give information i mean by all means leave a comment and share it, and that way someone else watching the video can you know read it and they could benefit from it you know and if you have questions as always you know ask me like i'll try to give you guys the best that i can and um if you if you like these channel you know as always help me out click like subscribe on it um i'm gonna try to continue to get more information and more 
more references and uh, hopefully I'll keep adding them so everyone can benefit from that. So I hope this helps. I hope, you know, you all are starting to think more about that because in the long run, it's going to benefit you. The more well-informed you are, you know, the better trader you can ultimately become. You know, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. So, and I, and I hope you all will too. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to share that little bit of information for you all. So hope you're all having a good weekend and, you know, enjoy the rest of it. Talk to you on the next video.